All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at um, how you can quickly debug a report where you're generating SQL uh, that's re basically returned from a function body. In other words, you want to generate a dynamic SQL statement that'll then uh, form uh, your, your query that's needed for your report based on parameters. Um, so in this particular case, let me show you the page that we've got here. We've got a, simply a search function up here where we can search through the documents themselves um, that are loaded in the database as a blob. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cause an error. Now this is going to blow up. All right, so I got an error. And you're like, oh, you notice you don't have debug on. So I have the option to turn debug on, but it gives you like so much stuff. It's it's often tough to uh, to, to go through. So uh, instead, uh, one of the ways that I quickly try to debug in this scenario is to paste in three lines of code. So the first is uh, to enable Apex debug. Uh, running at the, the log info level. Second is I just put a little line in there saying, hey, uh, I'm debugging. And, and then finally, I take my variable, which is my SQL variable, and I output it to the, uh, to the debug window. So let's go ahead and save this. Uh, we'll go back over here. I'm going to run the same page. It's going to blow up. Now I can view the debug, and I can see that two seconds ago, uh, we have a debug entry. Now, what I like about this is it puts right at the top, right here, what I'm doing. So I can simply copy, in this case, the, the query that's running. I can look at the error. You know, sometimes you can figure out from the error what it is. But sometimes you really need to analyze this SQL statement. So what I can do then is go back over to uh, here. Obviously, it's going to fail the first, the first time um, that I run it. But if I look right here, I can see that I have a double, double quote test the query. Okay, the query runs, the output runs. So now I can go back to my page designer, remove that quote. I'm just going to keep the debugging on for the time being. Hit save, run back to my page. I'll do a refresh. And you can see that it brought back the results. Similarly, I can look at the successful query that just ran right here. So that's just a quick hack. Now, the other the other way that you can do it, um, and this is, you know, let's say you have a, a much bigger problem uh, in your code. I'm going to go ahead and comment this out. Is to essentially enable uh, debugging at the apex level. So you can go down here, and you can first see uh, that you're going to debug. Make sure, it, typically, this will default to no debug, and then you want to say debug. And next, you want to go over here, and you can see the deep debug level. So in this case, I'm going to set the debug level in, in the app to info, um, and I'm going to hit debug. Now let's go ahead and run the search. Now just like before, uh, it's going to create a new debug. You can see here's one that says show, and I can go in, but it's given me a ton more information, which is very useful if you have, uh, you know, step by step and break it down. But really, uh, when, when you know uh, where your error is, um, you want to go right to that line. So that's what that first hack it is. But here you can see the line. Here you can see I did spit out the query. So I could do the same thing. It's just you got to scroll down the page. So anyway, that's a quick look at how you can um, debug uh, PL SQL function body returned in a SQL query uh, for a report.